What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? I am Random Hero. Um, I'm going to go over Media Monkey, which is a media player. It doesn't do video, as far as I can tell. But in comparison to Clementine and Music Bee, which I've talked about before, I believe that this is the superior of the three. And I will discuss why. Let's fire this thing up, and we'll kind of go over it. Um, the first and the main thing is that I found like with with the different media players they have the equalizers just like any of them do um, without fucking with it on this one it sounds better now I'll take the song side by side with you know and I did a test with the data remember here uh, City of Akala and I played it on this and I played it on Music P it sounded like shit on Music P and it sounds good here. There's a lot more bass. Um, it just sounds better. And like I said, I haven't messed with the settings for the equalizer. And I actually tried to with Music Beat to try to make it sound better. And I don't feel like you should have to do a lot of adjusting to get something to sound good. Especially when you're taking tracks that are, in fact, in the best quality as far as flack, lossless audio and have to mess with it that much it just seems like you shouldn't have to do that so now music b offers a lot of the same as the other ones do they do have a gold uh version of the program uh it is 24.95 you get extra features which is nice and what I'll do is I'm going to post the link in the description where to get it. Um, so another thing, it does have Last.fm Scrabbler, which for me is important. Because for Last.fm Scrabbler, it enables you to find other bands that are similar to what you listen to. Which is, I feel like, a nice thing to have. So... Yeah, I mean it's it like I said it's it's one of those things where I like it. So um now a couple other things, it does have podcasts if you're into that sort of thing, of course. Um so you can add those all in. Uh you can go to the podcast directory, add them in. You can tell it how many of the latest episodes you want to download, you know, whatever you want to do. Uh looks like it does have music videos available, so that's cool. Um, I think I said it didn't have video, so I was, uh, wrong. What the hell is this? Katy Perry, what in the... This must be online, because I don't have any of this stuff, so... Alright. So, obviously, you can create playlists. Now, one thing that this does is you can actually create a media server. Um, it's basically peer-to-peer. Um, you just gotta set it up through the, you know, your um, network and whatnot. Not too bad. You can play stuff directly from your computer. Like if you put a CD in, uh, if I put an audio CD in, it'll bring it up. I can have the options of, you know, selecting and or ripping whatever. And I'll just kind of show you real quick just what I'm talking about here. We'll throw in. I just bought the new Data Remember CD, the Bad Vibrations. So, we'll throw that in, and then you'll see what I'm talking about as far as here. Give it just one second. Um, so, we have net radio, which is internet radio, and we have... Um, what is that? Icecast directory. So, internet radio, you know, you can play different uh, different radio stations like jazz, whatever. So... Here's a CD right here. So we can actually go over here and select it. And then I can rip it. Um, you can see the bit rate. You can, like I said, you know, FLAC is definitely bigger files. So, you know, when you get a certain amount, <clears throat> because this, in, you, there, is, there is actually an app for this, uh, which allows you to um, essentially stream to your device. But what it does is it actually downloads to your phone. Now, if you're like me, and you have a grip of music, like, 
hundreds of gigs of music. Um, you probably don't want to get that on your phone because your phone probably won't have that much space. So, needless to say, you know, the, the app's not for everyone. I mean, if you got a couple CDs, four, you know, even 30, and it depends on how you rip them. I mean, if you rip them in MP3 and they're only like four megs a piece, no, you're not going to take a crap load of space. So, um, and you can see right here, actually, see, it's updating my podcast. So, um, again, you can have it check, you can have it, um, download them if they're available uh, you can pick the different uh, pick the different uh, like I said how many you want uh, how many days you know when does it check so we can actually go on the web we can go to Amazon you know for music we can go to CD Universe um, and you can actually open up tabs in Media Monkey, which I think is kinda cool because it's different and obviously right here you can actually get CDs right here so um, yeah very cool that it, it does have this option that's cool um, so that's one thing like I said it just offers a lot and and the main reason you know like I said if, if you look at music B and you looked at this one it does everything that music B does um, and essentially they are very similar but the one thing that this does better is just the sound quality that's the one thing that brought me back to this one um because it has all the same features as far as you know album art and stuff like that uh, you can have the album art you can have now album art is something i like it's not necessarily a must-have for everybody and i realize that but for me, I, I like the, um, because not everybody knows the name of the album, but they might recognize the album art. Um, you know, for instance, like this one right here, you know, this, I could recognize that this is, you know, this is War is the CD, you know, and it's just <clears throat> different bands. And like I said, it updates them. This one's the only one that hasn't come in yet. Um, and I still have to update that, but you can actually go find it, you can rate it, you can search, um, you can add stuff to your queue. This is just the stuff I've been playing recently, as you can see, it's a shitload of a day to remember. Um, and again, you can add stuff to your playlist, create playlists, whatever. Um, we can sort it by composer, you can do artist and album, you know, album artist, which is usually the same thing. Sorted by year, rating, classification. Uh, I haven't done anything with the virtual CD. So we got classical music here. I mean, that would be stuff that you would add in, I would imagine. So, like I said, there's... Let's go to the options here. To kind of show you the different uh, things that they have. So, we have our Just Played Now. Um, you have your auto-grouping. We have the skins, which again, you can download more skins. They are on uh, MediaMonkey.com. We have similar artist settings, so you can kind of, kind of create it, kind of adjust, so it's not so wide, certain, you know, uh, so it's not wide uh, spread as far as kind of narrow it down a little bit as far as what you want. Here's your um, last FM you know for the service that's a plug-in so you can add it on it's really easy to add shit on as far as you know adding things in that you want as far as um, plugins so uh, this one is automatically organized stuff that's in the gold version which I haven't got which I'm going to downloads now it'll tell you like how often you want to check it where do you want to download what hard drive um, whatever so we have DSP plugins, we have the general plugins, we have output, just a lot of stuff that's available for this. This is where your network comes in. Um, we have party mode. You can secure with a password if you want to do that. Hotkeys, confirmation, OS integration. So you can see it supports all this. Um, we have the video stuff here, podcast, playlist, um, and again with like. 
sure. Um, but there's just there's a lot of options as far as you know with getting the gold version and stuff like that. You can check for updates, which I haven't, so might as well current. Okay, but this thing's constantly being updated. There's I love having the different tabs because you know you might have something open here as far as your album artists and music but on the other tab you want to pop your podcasts open and check them and or add stuff to the directory uh whatever it is you know if i wanted to go check to make sure it was up to date and stuff of that matter like i said the main thing is music players are music players but <sighs> What they offer as far as sound quality and stuff like that, I think is a big deal. As far as, you know, like I said, music is a big thing to me. And, you know, having it sound good is even better. So, like I said, there is an app um, you can find on the Google Play Store. I imagine it's on iOS, but I don't know. Uh, we have extensions here. So, you know, all these different extensions you can add, you can get more, stuff like that. So... I think that's about it for this. Like I said, it's it's a very cool program. Definitely recommend getting it. You won't be disappointed. MediaMonkey.com. I will post the link um, just in case you didn't hear me say it all 15 times or whatever. So that's about it. Uh, thanks for watching. Like I said, I, I made this basically because I just want to let people know about this. That just a good program out there to get and uh, it's definitely worth using. Uh, definitely on top of Clementine, and, and I think definitely better than Music B. So, thank you, and uh, like the video if you liked it, and uh, you know, subscribe if you'd like. I appreciate it, and have a good night.